Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Crumpus Tea and Sewing. My name is T. In today's video, I am going to be doing a pattern review of C and Sew B6437. I really love this pattern, I enjoyed it. I made several versions of it and I'm grateful to be able to do a pattern review and tell you my thoughts on it. So stay tuned and you'll learn a lot more about this pattern. The C and Sew pattern B6437, it has become my go-to pattern. And throughout this video, I'm going to tell you reasons why it's now my new go-to pattern. I've never had a go-to pattern before in the past. I've always liked to sew many, many patterns and not be committed to any one pattern. But for some reason, over this past summer, I've just been falling in love with certain patterns. One of the patterns that I fell in love with this summer is the Butterick B6318. It is a day dress, it's a 1960s day dress, and I just absolutely love that pattern. I did a pattern review of that one as well. I'll put the link in the i card above, and you can check that pattern review out as well. This particular pattern, I made, uh, so far I made three dresses out of it. Uh, the first dress that I made was out of a black and white daisy print. I purchased the fabric from Fabric Mart, and I made that dress for my daughter. First, let's start with the instructions. The instructions are just very, very easy. I really love the simplicity of the instructions. Um, there are very few instructions. I think it's less than like 20 steps, I wanna say. For the neck uh, band or the facing for the neck band, I did both variations I did view a and I did also view B of this pattern and so view um, view a is the view with the uh, V neck neckline and for that particular pattern I did have uh, trouble understanding the instructions for the band and how to put that neck band together but if you are an advanced intermediate to an advanced sewer i think that you can really like overlook that and you'll know what you're doing and you'll be able to with your experience you'll be able to just fly past that part of the instructions if you are um, just beginning or you're at the beginning of the intermediate stage of um, sewing I would say you still would be able to decipher that part of the instructions it probably would just take you a little longer to understand what you need to do to attach that uh, v-neck um, and it's because of the way in which you have to fold over the v-neck so there's two pieces um, that you're going to be attaching together. You're going to fold it over and make um, your stitches along the V-line and clipping cur clipping the inside of the V-neck so that it can, you know, maintain that shape. But there's ways in which the instructions uh, tell you to do it, which doesn't really make sense to me. It might make sense to other people, but it didn't really make sense to me. And so I kind of bypassed that step and I did what I, um, what I did based on experience. But, but again, it's not that it's not that complicated it'll just take you some time if you're following the instructions for that particular step it'll take you some time to kind of figure it out that was the only issue that i had with that particular variation with um view b i did find that the round neck band which is featured here on the dress that i am showcasing here it was a lot more straightforward you don't have to do any, you know, um, clipping and trying to uh, maneuver and uh, stitch down uh, to the center of the um, the neckband because there is no no need to do that. You're just working on the curve. It's more easy than the um, the V neck and especially the instructions for it. So the um, the actual um, execution of it isn't hard. It's just understanding the ins the instructions were a bit 
um, hard to understand. So I just, you know, forewent that and I just went um, with what I had already knew about putting a uh, neckband on this particular type of dress. The thing that I did not like about the pattern besides the instructions for the v-neck band is the low um, waistline. So on me, this goes um, even lower than what it's sitting on my mannequin right now. Um, it goes quite low. I know that that's the design. It still isn't very flattering for me because I have a bit of a stomach. And so for me, I feel like it's not as flattering. I would have liked to um, have the the waistline a little higher where it sits on the natural waist instead of down below by my hips. Well, that's one of the things that I didn't really like. For my daughter, it looks very flattering on her because she doesn't have the extra um, uh, stomach or she doesn't have that extra weight. So it looks really flattering on her, but not so much on myself. And so in the future, I think for myself, I will uh, raise this um, this waistline a bit so that it sits a little higher. The other thing that I didn't really like about this particular um, pattern is that there's quite a bit of skirt at the bottom and I'm really short, I'm only 4'11". And so the skirt was really long on me. Um, I would say even for, my daughter is 5'3", five, 5'4", five, and it was still really long and we had to trim off about three to four inches off the bottom. In terms of the length of it, I would say if you're going to be making this pattern, make sure that you are mindful of that. The second time that I made this pattern, uh, with that in mind, I went ahead and I um, adjusted it and so the length wasn't as long and I took two or three inches off and so I didn't have to waste that fabric. So I did that with this piece and I also did that with the piece that I'm wearing as well. If you want to see the um, the black and white daisy print that I made for my daughter, I'll put a link in the iCard above and it'll take you over to the video when I first introduced the pattern. Other than that, um, I really, really like this pattern. I would definitely make it again. I have plans to make one more for my daughter. As I uh, stated earlier in another video, I... Um, had intended on making two for my daughter and two for myself and so these are the two that I made for myself I'll make sure that I put pictures at the end of this video so that you can see the full length of the dress and um, the details of the neck and then also the sleeves so overall I would say um, on a scale of being very easy to being complicated I would say that this is a very easy pattern um, as I stated before, for beginners or those individuals who are entering into the intermediate phase of their sewing, I would definitely check either some tutorials out on how to attach a v-neck band or um, really taking the time to go over the pattern and really looking at the instructions before um, delving into it. Um, and you know cutting all your pieces and stuff you might find that it's something that you're okay with and you're gonna go ahead and move forward and then you might find that it's something that you might want to spend more time trying to understand the instructions before you move forward other than that I really love this pattern it's my go-to pattern and I'm definitely going to be making it again this particular print I purchased from um, fabric.com and I'll put the link in the description box below of that particular site and I purchased this in the early part of the spring and even though it is it has like this spring theme I really like the browns and the orange tones in this piece because it represents fall more so for me and so that's one of the reasons why I held off making anything with this piece until this um, time of the year because I really felt like it was more of a fall piece than a spring piece. But this was a part of their spring collection. I used, I want to say, three yards of fabric for this particular piece um, and three yards for this piece as well. 
for the first piece that I made because I did not account for the length of the dress I used a little bit more so I would say more like three and a quarter maybe three and a half yards um, uh, for that particular um, piece but it's it's a really nice dress it's really flowy it has um, a, a flowy skirt at the bottom um, but it's not too um, too voluminous so that's what I really like about it and it's a really nice a nice piece to add to your your dress uh, collection so that's it for this video I hope that you liked it if you did make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do so by clicking the subscribe button below and right next to that subscribe button is a little bell if you want to receive notifications of all my videos make sure you hit that uh, bell so that you can receive notifications for future videos like these okay thank you so much for watching bye